Hey guys, today we're going to get back to the topic of consumer preference and specifically we'll talk about substitution between goods. So in the previous video, I asked you a question between bundle A and bundle E, what can you tell me about your preferences? So just a quick recap of the previous video, if you compare bundle A to another bundle uh, 3 comma 1, monotonic preferences tell us that we will always prefer bundle A to this bundle B because you're getting more of the second good here. Uh, without giving up any of, of x1. So if you're not comfortable with monotonic preferences, you should click on the link that just popped up on your window and go review that video. After you're clear on what monotonic preferences tell us about our consumer preferences and choices, now we can continue with the uh, concept of substitution between goods. So getting back to the question from, from last class, if you look at these two bundles A and E, what we say now is that we are, if you say that you're indifferent, between two bundles, now what you're saying is, as opposed to monotonic, what you're saying here is that bundle A and bundle E give you equal level of happiness. So you're equally happy when you say you are indifferent between two bundles, as opposed to monotonic where you can clearly rank bundle one to be better than bundle two. All right, so let me put this concept more mathematically. So if we say we are indifferent between two bundles, the first bundle is x1 comma x2, and if we are going to be indifferent between this and the next bundle, then the way we write it is that if x1 changes by delta x1, uh, this just represents how much x1 is changing by. And then comma x2 is going to change by delta x2. So just to make sure, this is bundle A, x1 comma x2. This bundle, which is bundle B, is x1 plus change in x1, comma x2 plus change in x2. So we're just putting it generically there. If delta x1 is positive, what can you tell me about what delta x2 must be given the fact that you're indifferent between these two bundles? So think about this while I write the other scenario where delta x1 is less than zero. So hopefully you, you were able to figure that out that if, if x change in x1 is positive, which means you're getting more of x1, given the fact that you're indifferent, it has to be the case that delta x2 must be negative. Otherwise, you're not going to be indifferent. So make sure you, you, this is very clear. When we talked about monotonic preference, we clearly preferred one bundle over the, over the other. But now when we are saying that we are indifferent between two bundles, if we get more of x1, then we have to lose some of x2 to be equally happy. Or put it differently, if we lose some of x1, then we have to gain some of x2 to be equally happy as well. So it, it goes both ways. If you're getting more of x1, you have to lose some of x2. But if you are losing some of x1, then you have to gain some of x2 to leave you equally happy. So this is slightly different than monotonic preferences, where now we are indifferent between these two bundles. So this uh, ratio, which I'll elaborate on in just a second, change in x2 over change in x1, which you see here, has a very important interpretation. So this ratio, change in x2 over change in x1, is the rate at which you're willing to substitute good 2 for good 1. So what we mean by that is, it's the amount of x2 that you are willing to give up to get one more unit of x1, and very importantly, make sure you don't forget this, is that you are going to be equally happy. So when you are indifferent, which is what we are talking about here, means that it's the amount of x2 you're willing to give up to get one more unit of x1 and leave you equally happy. So that's a very important part of when you're substituting between goods and you're comparing bundles between which you're indifferent, uh, it has to be the fact that you are uh, going to be equally happy between them. Or another way to look at this is how much are you willing to pay for good one in terms of good two? So that's what you're substituting between two bundles uh, to leave you equally happy. So make sure you're clear on this. And then let me leave you one, with one question, and then we'll, that's what we're going to address uh, in the next time, is as you're getting more x1, again, keep in mind that you are indifferent. All right, so you are, the, given the fact that you are going to be indifferent between these bundles, means if you are getting more of x1, you have to be giving up some of x2. Right? So that, that goes without saying. So think about as you keep getting an extra unit of x1, 
What can you tell me about how much of X2 you're going to be willing to give up to leave you equally happy?